Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message. Let's see what the energy is like. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you Virgos and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe, it's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? I hope that you guys had a good weekend. I hope that you are ready for the week ahead. But Spirit, what's the strongest energy here today? What is the message that you would like me to deliver to the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus? What do we have? Can we get a shuffle in? I don't know. Somebody feeling stuck? One more. All right. Can I get a card for now and a card for going forward? Thank you, Spirit. I'm going forward. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we have communication. And we have go with the flow. So the first one that came out, it says free spirit. And then going forward, we have feelings. So let's see what they're saying. Free spirit. The number six could be significant. If some of you are thinking, hey, should I free myself from something? It may bring you success and victory with the number six energy. Someone could be 60. So let's see. Someone here could be um, retiring, maybe from a job or something. So they are quite lengthy. So it says, express yourself and allow your spirit to feel free. Be aware of the confines and, restrict and restrictions placed upon you by yourself and others. It says, this mermaid says, it's fun to feel free. This doesn't mean um, shrinking your responsibilities, though it's important and possible to find a balance between fulfilling your wild and free spirit while honouring your responsibilities, especially when others are involved or are relying on you. It says, do you feel free? It says your work or home life might bring feelings of restriction. If this is true, take a look at how you can change things. Talking with loved ones about how you're feeling can be helpful. You could find they offer to help you with chores or your domestic responsibilities. Freeing up some time for you to do things that make your heart and soul sing. So I don't know if someone feels like they have too much burdens or they have too much going on to be able to do the things that they want to do or that they would like to do is what I'm hearing. What is free spirit? I see someone relaxing on a beach. You must be somewhere where it's warm. So you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, show me more. What is the Knight of Cups? You have the Page of Wands. Someone could just be like trying to find like a space to like invite somebody out with this Knight of Cups and Page of Wands. It makes me feel like an invitation. The Knight of Cups talks about creativity. It talks about, you know, a romantic proposal. Um, it can talk about somebody uh, following their heart. And the Page of Wands is, a, is that energy of a free spirit. It talks about freedom. It talks about communication. Show me more. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So there's the delay. So it's like someone gets this idea to say, you know what, I'll invite X, Y, and Z out for a drink or for a meal or just to meet up. And then it's like things get in the way. So everything becomes like it's on halt. 
What is the Knight of Cups? The Two of Pentacles. Show me more. And you have the World card. Now, the Two of Pentacles talks about making a choice, a decision here. It also talks about, again, this energy of somebody trying to juggle everything. Prioritize. You know, it could be that energy where if this is about family and friends and you do feel like there is a high demand for you, your energy, your time. Boundaries. Someone here could just be in this energy where they're just like, <laughs> it feels confusing. What's the world card? This could also be about, you know, maybe someone would have to travel. Maybe you're at a distance from somebody. Hanged man. Stuck energy. The hanged man talks about changing your perspective. It talks about taking a pause, looking at everything. And like I said, maybe someone here needs to change some things around. Hangman talks about being enlightened. Maybe, you know, letting go of some sort of old ways or the way you used to do things. Again, you know, it just feels like an end of your boundaries and structure. What's the page of wands? Maybe someone works a lot. Page of Wands is um, Ace of Swords, yeah. Show me more. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Someone could be wanting to reach out to a Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands? The Two of Swords. Two of Swords, I mean, there's a lot of indecisiveness here. Two of Swords talks about someone who feels like they are stuck between a rock and a hard place. They're at a crossroads. Again, this energy of weighing things up. This is someone who is well with the Two of Swords is an energy of someone who is not dealing with certain things that are right in front of their face. This is someone who's in the energy of stagnation. Who's that Queen of Wands? The two of wands that landed on the knight of pentacles. I feel like somebody wants to offer this queen of wands something. So this queen of wands could be representing you, Virgos, unless you know that you want to go towards a fire sign energy. But it could be that maybe you are very confident, you know. Um, the queen of wands is someone who doesn't underestimate herself. She is a go-getter, right? She's very motivated. She's very independent. So maybe you intimidate somebody a little bit. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Seven of Wands. Show me more. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. What's the Seven of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles? The Nine of Swords. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And the Empress. Someone's watching a Divine Feminine Energy. Maybe somebody they want to work with, build with, collab with. Yeah, there's the Queen of Pentacles. But I feel like someone here holds back and it could be they're afraid of some sort of communication. They may feel like something's going to be challenging or they may feel like you're defensive. This Seven of Wands is... Attached to the Queen of Wands. So that would make the Eight of Wands. Is this someone you've already walked away from? What's the Nine of Swords? The Five of Cups. You know, the Five of Cups talks about somebody crying over spilt milk. Why the Five of Cups? This can also talk about the energy of forgiveness, the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior.
There could be something here about a third party situation. What's the Nine of Wands? Someone here could have, you know, gotten out of a situation and maybe they're afraid now to invest in something else. Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. And the Fool card, it, that would have been nice if the Ace of Wands jumped out because it's basically, to me, the same thing. There is new beginnings here. Or at least there is possibilities for new beginnings for someone, but not after a difficult time. Now, again, sometimes this can talk about, hey, listen, like where I was saying, someone here may feel like they, you know, they got a lot of responsibilities and things like that. They just can't fit the time in for what they would like to do. What is this feelings? Let me see what this feelings is saying. So it says, express your feelings as honestly as you can. It says, emotion means energy in motion. Emotions can come in powerful waves of intense feelings. It says, this mermaid is swimming into your reading to let you know that it is safe to express your feelings. You don't have to pretend everything is fine when it's not. Equally, if you're feeling joyful, share your joy and allow it to spread to those around you. It says this card also indicates that someone around you might be finding it hard to share their feelings. If this is the case, have a chat with them over a cup of tea or coffee and encourage them to open up about how they feel. Or go out for a walk together, ideally on the beach. It says so their feelings can flow. So, okay, this feels like about somebody wanting to express themselves, right? So, feelings. What is this? So, you have landing on the Nine of Swords as the Hierophant. Taurus energy. But this could be somebody wanting to talk to somebody about a higher level of commitment. This could be someone who maybe wants some sort of advice about a marriage or something like that. There could be something here to do with tradition or religion. Coming out sideways is a blockage, is the chariot. So this is something not moving forward. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is someone, I guess, who doesn't have the willpower. They're not following divine guidance. They don't have the courage here. Show me more. Ten of Cups. What's the Hierophant? The Two of Cups. What's the Hierophant and Two of Cups? Yeah, but the Two of Wands landing. Two of Wands in the reverse landing on the Five of Cups. This is someone who is self-doubt in themselves or self-doubt in a situation is going to work out for them or it's going to be successful because the two of wands in the reverse talks about a lack of planning you've got the two of pentacles out here you've got the two of swords you've got the two of cups and you've got the two of wands so to me it just feels like there's confusion all along the board here Give me one more. Higher friend, two of cups and the two of wands. The eight of wands. I don't know. It makes a ten of wands energy. So I don't know what to say to who this is. Eight of wands, you know, it, it, it talks about moving forward. It talks about things changing very quickly. Again, there could be something here to do with distance. What's the chariot? The strength card. Six of pentacles. 
and the Ten of Swords. I just, uh, there's only so many ways I can say this. I really feel like someone was betrayed in the past. Someone may have given to someone with the Six of Pentacles. Someone may have thought they was in an equal give and take situation. But maybe they got betrayed. But this is to me with the strength in the chariot about finding the strength to stand back up. What's the Ten of Cups? Page of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Something here could just take communication. A conversation. What's this Queen of Swords with the Page of Pentacles? And the Ten of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Queen of Swords is an energy of someone who's not afraid to cut people, places and things out of their life. Whether it is family members or friends. The Queen of Swords is a very intelligent energy. It's very independent. Again, this could be someone who gives people wise counsel. Or maybe this is someone that wants to go and talk to this Queen of Swords because they know that she would speak the truth. What's coming out sideways? The Queen of Pentacles. So you're the Queen of Swords? Anything else for it? Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Why is that energy here? Because you're the Empress. <laughs> okay. So, Spirit, very quickly, tell me why does Virgo need to know this? I mean, some of you may be like, oh, yes, um, Rising Phoenix, I know what they're trying to say. I'm, I'll be like, okay. <laughs> Free spirit and feelings. Why do Virgos need to know this? Give me six cards. Why do Virgos need to know this spirit? Wheel of Fortune, Fate and Destiny, the change is coming. This talks about the cycles of life. This talks about... Ugh, interesting. This way up, it talks about a decisive moment. So it feels like whatever somebody decides is going to affect going forward. It says it's time. Show me more. Why do Virgos need to know this? What's the Wheel of Fortune? What are we getting stuck on? This Knight of Coins coming out again. Someone here could be being stubborn in a situation. Or maybe patience is needed. I do feel like someone is trying to be responsible and practical about the decision that they're making, yes. So it landed on the Seven of Wands as the Two of Cups. I really feel like someone's really trying to block out some sort of feelings or emotions. But with that Nine of Swords there, I don't know how well it's working. You know, someone may, yeah, definitely can distract themselves during the day, right? By throwing themselves into work, doing this for that person, you know, doing that for that person. Spreading their energy thin in terms of just trying to keep themselves busy. But at the end of the day... Those feelings are still there. Two of Cups talks about companionship, mutual feelings, a new partner. Talks about being in sync with someone. Just clarify these three cards. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Coming out sideways and coming out sideways. So you have the Vernal Equinox. And it talks about timing. This card does also talk about somebody, oh wow, Spirit is saying it's time for someone to step into the light. Take that how it resonates. I don't know if somebody's fighting some sort of awakening. 
but this talks about act now. There could have been something here that someone should have let go of from the spring. With the Knight of Coins, you have the Four of Coins. <laughs> There's something here about finances. So it's, I don't know, right? Maybe someone's afraid. Uh, listen, I don't know what you're afraid of, but something has to do with money. So what is the Two of Cups? <laughs> High Priestess. Someone here already has that inner knowing. You could be the High Priestess with this free spirit energy coming out here. The High Priestess in this deck talks about someone who is the bridge between two worlds. Maybe you have some sort of telepathic communication with someone. Maybe you can just pick up a certain person's energy. But this high priestess is someone who's stepped into their higher self. Maybe you come across as mysterious. You are coming out as the Empress, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Queen of Wands out here. Who's missing? Just the Queen of Cups. Where is the love? And some of you, you may be patiently waiting for that right person, the Four of Wands. Marriage, commitment, stability, union. Okay, so I don't know if this is about being patient here, Virgo. I don't know if you've been waiting for someone and you just like, you know they're on their way or you know you're going to have to wait or I don't know. Um, maybe that's the truth, Ace of Swords. Right, you, you have clarity who your person is. But where you have clarity, this person is fighting it. To it the Ace of Swords landed on the Two of Swords. Maybe this is someone that just knows that you're their person, but there is just too much in the way. I'm hearing spirits say, simplify. <laughs> Simplicity. Mm. Okay. Throwing cards at me now. Six of cups. Soulmate energy. And the empress at the bottom of the deck. Maybe this is someone that you will go on to have children with for some of you. Let me just see what fell on the floor. fell on the floor nine of coins i don't know which way it fell out but it is the nine of coins but the way i'm picking it up it says you are enough it says stand up for what you deserve it says working too hard for f working too hard or for free mm. it says understand <laughs> i noticed the other day i was watching one of my videos and i noticed that i do that a little bit um, quite a lot so I hope that doesn't annoy anybody it's like it just comes out natural I just go hmm it's like either a spirit is saying something or I'm seeing something it okay just what I'd explain <laughs> but it says uh undervaluing yourself self-worth someone needs to realize here what it is that they deserve or who they deserve For Virgos, I am going to leave that energy there. That is what I have picked up. I do hope that something has resonated with someone. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys. <laughs>